Good afternoon, and I'll call this business meeting to order. Today, the committee will consider four bills, S-790, a bill to clarify certain provisions of public law, the Catawba Indian Tribe of South Carolina Land Claim Settlement Act of 1993, and for other purposes, S-3264, bridging the Tribal Digital Divide Act of 2020, S-4079, a bill to authorize the Seminole Tribe of Florida to lease or transfer certain land and for other purposes, and S-455, excuse me, 4556, the bill to authorize the Secretary of Health and Human Services acting through the Director of the Indian Health Service to acquire private land to facilitate access to the Desert Sage Youth Wellness Center in Hemet, in Hemet uh, California, and for other purposes. Okay, first S-790. On March 13, 2019, Senator Graham introduced S-790, a bill to clarify certain provisions of public law 103-116, the Catawba Indian Tribe of South Carolina Lands Claim, Land Claim Settlement Act of 1993, and for other purposes, Senator Burr and Tillis are co-sponsors of this bill. On May 1, 2019, the committee held a hearing on this bill. A similar bill has been introduced in the House. S-790 will provide authority for the Secretary of the Department of the Interior to take land into trust in Cleveland County, North Carolina on behalf of the Catawba Indian Tribe for the purpose of conducting Indian gaming. On March 12, 2020, Assistant Secretary of Indian Affairs Tara Sweeney published notice in the Federal Register that the Department of the Interior would be taking this parcel of land into trust on behalf of the tribe. This agency action was made final on July 10, 2020. One amendment. KEN 20294 in the nature of a substitute amendment was timely filed by Senator Moran. I will turn to Senator Moran in a moment to speak on his amendment. And as you can see, Senator Moran is right here on my right. S32, and I say that because he was down there at the last meeting and, and he was not happy about it. So we moved him and we're pleased he's here. S3264. On February 11, 2020, Senator Udall introduced S-3264, Bridging the Tribal Digital Divide Act of 2020, which was, for, which was referred to the committee. Senators Heinrich, Cantwell, Warren, Smith, and Schatz are co-sponsors of the bill. On September 23, 2020, the committee held a legislative hearing on S-3264. S-3264 establishes a tribal broadband interagency working group. This working group would provide technical assistance to tribes for the development of a tribal broadband deployment plan, detailing current and projected efforts to meet broadband connectivity goals in tribal communities. S3264 will also establish a tribal broadband deployment advisory committee for tribal leaders to reach consensus and make recommendations to Congress on ways to improve such services. The bill contains a tribal set aside of 20% of the US Department of Ag's Rural Utility Service broadband program funding. S3264 further sets aside 5% of the Federal Communications Commission Universal Service Fund for broadband deployment on tribal lands. One amendment has been filed, OLL20A16, in the nature of a substitute. I will turn to Senator Udall in a moment to speak to his amendment. S4079, the next bill. S4079, a bill to authorize the Seminole Tribe of Florida to lease or transfer certain land and for other purposes, was introduced on June 25, 2020, by Senators Rubio and Scott. This legislation authorizes the Seminole Tribe of Florida to convey or otherwise transfer interests in land. This authorization does not include lands held in trust. The bill rectifies the limitations placed in the tribe by the Non-Intercourse Act, originally enacted in 1790, the Non-Intercourse Act requires the tribe to first get federal approval before conveying any land interest. S-4079 would allow for the tribe to operate without this unnecessary delay and to exercise greater control over their own affairs. Alleged hearing was held on September 23, 2020, and testimony was received from the administration and the Seminole Nation of Florida Chairman uh, Asiello, Jr. No amendments were filed in this bill. And S-4556, on September 10, 2020, 
Senator Dianne Feinstein introduced S4556, a bill to authorize the Secretary of Health and Human Services acting through the Director of the Indian Health Service to acquire private land to facilitate access to the Desert Sage Youth Wellness Center in Hemet, California, and for other purposes. S4556 authorizes the Department of Health and Human Services acting through the Director of the Indian Health Service to purchase land at fair market value from willing sellers in order to facilitate access to the Desert Sage Youth Wellness Center in Hemet, California. A dirt and gravel road known as the Best Road will be authorized to be acquired by HHS in order for IHS to construct and maintain a paved road that accesses the center throughout the year. The committee held the uh, legislative hearing on S4556 on September 23, 2020. At this point, at this legislative hearing, Rear Admiral Michael D. Wiaki, director of the IHS, testified in support of the bill. No amendments have been filed to S4556. Before turning to the bill, I want to ask Vice Chairman Senator Udall if he has an opening statement. I'm going to put my opening in the record to move things along. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, with your consent. Uh, without objection. D uh, does any other member have an opening statement before we turn to the bills? Mr. Chairman. Senator Campbell. I just want to thank you and the Vice Chair for S3264, the digital divide for uh, Indian country. And since the, rank, since the Vice Chair delayed his comments, I feel uh, sheepish at giving a long statement, but let me just suffice it to say that Indian country has waited long enough for broadband. We need to do better. This legislation will help us do that. So thank you, and I'll submit my statement as well. Thank you, Senator Cantwell. Any other members opening statement? Hearing none. Uh, we'll turn to S790. This bill has one amendment in the nature of a substitute to consider amendment number KEN 20294 offered timely by Senator Moran. Senator Moran, do you have comment on your amendment? Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Chairman thank you for the recognition. Chairman Hoven, uh, Vice Chairman Udall, thanks for holding this business meeting to advance uh, these various pieces of legislation. I offer this amendment on behalf of Senators Graham, Burr, and Tillis to reflect the new facts since S-790 was introduced. I have a history of working with these senators on this issue, and I give my support on their behalf. As the chairman noted in his remarks, whereas 790 authorized the Interior Secretary to take land in North Carolina into trust for the Catawba tribe, this amendment affirms the Interior Department's decision this past summer to do so. The amendment mirrors the bipartisan H.R. 8255 in the House, which, like 790, has also been sponsored from the, by the delegations from North and South Carolina. In addition to affirming the land taken into trust, the amendment stipulates that land in North Carolina shall be subject to the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act. This legislation is consistent with previous legislation considered by this committee and passed into law, including the Gun Lake Trust Land Reaffirmation Act. This is a straightforward amendment in the aftermath of the Interior's decision on behalf of the Catawba tribe to encourage its adoption. I would close by saying that I continue to be a supporter of the clean carcieri fix, and I have introduced land reaffirmation bills in the pe previous Congresses. Those have not succeeded, therefore we are at this point uh, in dealing with this tribe. It's important that the next Congress resolve these broader issues for Indian country and end the uncertainty of lawsuits that hinder economic development. Uh, Mr. Chairman, those are my remarks. I would uh, move adoption of that uh, amendment. Is there a second? Is there further discussion? Mr. Chairman, I, I would just say I know you're preparing for a voice vote. I, I, I'm going to continue to follow this legislation. I've tried to follow the various legal uh, implications here, but um, I'm just ready to have a voted out committee today on voice vote, but we'll be following it as it moves through the process. Other discussion? Hearing none. Uh, all those in favor of the amendment signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed signify by saying nay. There being none in the opinion of the chair, the amendment passes. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, on, but on the amendment or just on the? On both. On both. Okay. Uh, the, please uh, record Senator Cortez Masto as a no on the amendment. Okay. Now do I have a motion on the bill as amended? So moved. Is there a second? Been moved and seconded. Is there discussion? 
Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Also, Senator Cortez Masta would like to be uh, recorded as voting no on S790. Uh, in the opinion of the chair, Senate S790, as amended, is passed. Now we'll take up S3264. One amendment in the nature of a substitute, OLL20A16, has been timely offered by Senator Udall. Uh, uh, Vice Chairman Udall, do you have any comment on your amendment? I would just say that my, my amendment um, improves the bill with suggestions from the administration, and I would put my statement on in the record with regard to that, and I appreciate very much Senator Cantwell's comments on tribal uh, uh, digital divide and, and making sure that we move forward on this and have broadband. Appreciate everybody's good work, and I would yield back and put, ask for consent to put my rest of my statement in. Without objection. And then are you also moving the amendment? Yes. Okay, is there a second? Is there a second? Second. Okay, is there any discussion? There being no further discussion, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to be recorded as a no. Okay, Senator Moran will be recorded as a no. Mr. Uh, Chairman, I would just say to the uh, Senator from Kansas, look forward to working with you on this as we work through the process. Uh, as Senator Udall knows, I'm very interested and willing to do so. Yeah. Um, all right. Then in the opinion of the chair of the amendment, OLL20A16 is passed. Do I have a motion to consider S3264 as amended? So, second. It's been moved uh, by Vice Chairman Udall, second by Senator Cantwell. Uh, that the bill as amended uh, be voted on. Uh, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Mr. President, Mr. Chairman, I would like to be recorded as a no. If it would make Senator Udall feel any better, I'm happy just to be recorded as a no on the final bill. I'm going to be recorded, recorded as a no on the amendment. Okay, then the record will show that you are a no on the bill as amended. amended. Makes me feel better. I heard the no. In the opinion of the chair, S. 3264, as amended, is passed. Um, okay, unless there's objection, we'll, we'll vote en bloc on the following. Um, S. 4079, which is Seminole Tribe of Florida to lease or transfer land act, and S. 4556, Desert Sage Youth Wellness Center land acquisition. Is there any opposition to voting en bloc? No. Hearing none, um, do I have a motion to consider those two bills and block. So moved. Is there a second? Moved and second. Is there further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. In the opinion of the chair, the bills S4079 and S4556 are passed. Thanks to the members for getting our business completed. I ask unanimous consent that staff be allowed to make technical and conforming changes. If there are no other objections or further business before the committee, the meeting is adjourned.